Okay, I have my drawing and some colors. Since this is um, in the jungle, I'm gonna add some greenery, like a moss or something growing on everything. Um, we'll say that it's made out of some sort of structure that's designed for moss to grow in um, to help increase um, oxygen um, either in the atmosphere or maybe uh, they collect the oxygen from the algae and put it into their system. Either way, it sounds like a, f a, f a fun idea to think about. Okay, I need some blue. So they'll put the water in, kind of get an idea how it's gonna flow. Okay, so actually probably not a ton of water hit after that. So the water would come down and hit here and then kind of bounce all over the place. That would kind of hit here maybe and bounce back up there and go down. And once it went down there, it would go on a pipe into some equipment, something over in there, and then go out this way. The water. Let's see, um, these pipes might be see through, or we might just be drawing it like we can see it. It seems like it would be hard to actually see all that underneath the water. water is just going straight down right away. This water is going down this way. So it's going that direction. This water is going this direction. So this direction and this direction. And then they'll meet here, kind of swirl around a bit. And that should create some energy um, as it makes its way down through here. Um, and then it powers the um, hydroelectric plant. Put the battery somewhere over here, city. Um, something more yellow. Let's make it yellow, like the lights are on since some. Um, it's being powered so well, maybe it kind of glows. It reminds me of a, a video game city. I can't think which one. Must have been a fantasy game. It had glowing domes. Okay. So we also have water just kind of just dripping just a little bit, just a little runoff. Hmm. Maybe it's uh, there are boats in there. there's going to be quite a bit of water here.
I thought that the, uh, the time travel, um, people would be okay with hydroelectric since it really doesn't, um, change a lot of things as far as consuming resources in the wrong time period. Um, and so that that might be kind of a fun idea to play with. Let's see. Moss covering the structure. Probably be some natural barnacles, um, mussels that would start um, collecting on this structure. So either um, plan for that when they built it, knowing the moss would grow on it. Um, or maybe we have new crews and things to come and uh, remove the barnacles um, the way that they have to do um, in our water systems. Okay. Okay, I've lost my structure a little bit, so I'm going to go over it with a Sharpie. Um, a wax uh, left on the page can damage the tip of the Sharpie, so I'm using an older Sharpie that I already accidentally damaged the tip on but be careful if you use a new one, it could change the tip. Let's see, we'll put these pipes back in. Oops, had a little oopsie, so it's connected there, no problem. Let's see, go ahead and add this line back in here. Okay, now we can go back to coloring. Adding my colors without worrying about losing my lines. I'm just using the bottom of the crown to cover more distance. And I can kind of go up both sides of the pipe at the same time. But if I want, I could just go up one side. Okay. 
I mean, so that I'm really quick with the other. So the two different color blues on either side give it a slightly different shade. So if something in your drawing isn't sticking out the way you want, you can always try shading it. But since we mostly use these for building three-dimensional models, if it doesn't quite look right in the 2D, just think about how you're going to solve it in the 3D. And then sometimes once I've made the 3D model, um, it's really easy to go back and fix the 2D model um, after I've resolved um, whatever it was that I couldn't think of in the 2D um, in the, th in the three-dimensional model. I should have put this line in Sharpie. There we go. Now that's easier to see. And just put some shallow water dumping down over this edge, watering all of the algae. Now I used a really yellow green because I thought it was going to combine with that blue and look a bit greener, but it turns out it still looks yellow. So I'm going to add in more of this green. So I'm coloring the area that's made for algae growth to explore what that might be. Is it like an organic material? brick, a cement, it's porous so it can grow in there, is it a plastic polymer growing a certain shape, kind of like a hydroponics.
I'm mad. More yellow. This. Then something blue. Like maybe it's uh, heat coming from the inside. Maybe a very warm, humid place. climate controlled cities. Maybe it's warm here. So maybe the temperature changes closer to the top of the city. If I go back with a Sharpie, I can um, color on top of this um, any shape I want in the city. I haven't quite figured out what I want yet, though, so I'll probably just go over it with pencil. Oh, it's probably green inside. If the water is able to wash away moss, it does, but if it doesn't, it, everything's probably pretty covered with moss. What was it? Was it um the biosphere? Um, maybe it was biosphere two, where they had the morning glories, the one built in Arizona, I believe. They had morning glories um, take over and cover the inside of the dome, and it wouldn't let light in. So definitely a check on that, and uh, plan on all those things when we um the plants for the inside of the dome. Let's see, what shape shall we put in the city? Maybe not these hard edges quite so much. Maybe it's hard to see inside because the light is reflecting off of the dome. Go. A little harder to deal with the pencil now that I'm scratching into the wax. So I think I'll just leave this dome up to the imagination. Um, I'll probably think of a model that I want to do with it later. Um, and then just, um, kind of fill in some greenery, you know, back in here. Um, cause I'm sure there's a big lush forest, um, you know, somewhere in the background where all the dinosaurs live. <laughs> okay. So we're in the jungle. So I'm just going to add some green trees and foliage and stuff in the background. Maybe um, put in um, far off mountains um, back there and um, add in um, a volcano. No. Let's see, Calder would be kind of up like this. Ooh, it's more of a shield volcano. There you go. And then um, add some smoke, which would explain why they're living inside the uh, domes.
see. Let's get some red. There we go. Um, add some glow in. Just putting little lines in so it kind of looks more like trees. Huh. I'm starting to actually get it to look more like blades of grass on a hill. So maybe I'll put in some um, cross lines to. I'm going to say that it has kind of a white halo around it, so I'm not going to color the background green. Uh-oh, my background green and my moss green are a little too similar. So just add in this color here. I didn't have a sky blue, but I had this purple and this purple green mixture kind of gives a nice time travel sky. Let me put some purple down on this mountain. Maybe they're using the water to protect them from the um, lava. There we go. Now our background green doesn't look too much like the front green. Where our moss is growing on our habitat. Probably get some black where the lava is going to go down into the greenery.
some rocks down here. Like big heavy rocks that fell earlier. probably have moss growing on them anything that wasn't um, anything that's getting sheltered by the structure wouldn't be getting blasted with um, all the water that's would have come and blasted these is going in here so we'll probably have some moss growing on them hopefully it's a native moss if not and it got it from here there could be some environmental problems later you'd have to Imagine about how to solve those. Probably so much of that moss that's in the air. So we'll add some of this color here. Some of the actual moss color. Probably pollinating pretty heavily. And then put in the background forest again. supposed to be individual trees. Just like this, they look great as blades of grass. And I'll go ahead and fill in all the leaves and the branches touching each other. More green in here, if you probably see this a little bit more clearly. Versus down here, it was probably more spray from the water hitting the rocks and coming back up and splashing around. itself. Kind of drew it like a slate or maybe even a granite. sure that the top strokes are the water.
missed a little spot. There it is. Um, so I could go over this a couple more times with colors and add some more dimensions, but this is um, basically how I imagine the habitat.